I came to the panhandle and had, Dad had found some wheat that a fellow said he could water and we put them on that and then he wouldn't water it. And so I sold all those cows except 30. And I had 30 and I brought back here to this place. And uh, I, the cows were worth $3,000 and I owed the bank $3,000. I sold their calves that fall and paid the bank off. And I didn't owe the bank a penny and I did have 30 cows, about like I had when I was about 16. And uh, I had just one way to make it. My dad had retired, and uh, he'd been retired a good while. And so I just moved here in a little house with no water or nothing in it. And uh, my wife had been used to a much higher lifestyle than we'd been living all our married life. And she never said a word. We had an outside toilet and had a cistern for water and three-room house, and we stayed in that thing for six years. And I finally got enough money to build this house out here and uh, the above ground house and uh, an old fellow from Clarendon and I built it one winter. And we got it fixed up pretty nice and I knew all the time that I wasn't gonna be here forever. <laughs> and the seventh year, well, I made uh, some, I made some money the several years there but not much but we didn't spend it and uh, I had accumulated some money and I had enough money to lease Oaks Creek Ranch up there that we own now and uh, I leased it and I didn't have enough money to buy to stock it with cows and I knew that a lot of people put yearlings out, you know, pastures. So I just took in yearlings for pastures and moved my 30 cows up there. And uh, I started adding to those cows. First year I added about 20 more. And the second year I added a few more. And about the third year, the market went down pretty good. And I bought 500 heifers that were bred and from New Mexico and stocked the ranch up there with my own cattle. I'd made a little out of pasturage and a little out of the caves I had, but I was a good bit of money on the cattle I bought. And we got a Near about a 92% calf crop out of those two-year-old heifers, Herefords, <laughs> bred to Hereford bulls. <laughs> and, because we lived with them, and then we, we sold them, cattle started going up, and I, it wasn't long till I had, well, at that time, I also lived, Lease made a deal with this Cook Ranch here that joined me, and uh, I uh, took yearlings for pasture down here on the Cook place, and uh, I. I always made money on the cattle up pasture. And it was kind of a complicated deal the way I did it, but it worked good for the 
dear people and it worked good for me. And it worked all right for the land. But I was operating on all of their money. And uh, that allowed me to do something. And I was actually making a good little bit of money out of the yearlings. And so, I, later on, I leased another place that wasn't too big. And then uh, I was getting a lot of cattle. And uh, I, uh, John Matthews bought a ranch here west of Clarendon, the, the Griffin Ranch. And I made a deal with him to lease it and run it. And we made a loose partnership. And uh, I furnished all of the labor, all the equipment. And uh, half of the cake feed bill, and he furnished all the grass and half of the feed bill, and we split her down the middle. And I, that enabled me to run about 3,000 yards. And uh, then uh, later on, they bought a uh, another ranch over at Shamrock, and I ended up running about 1,800 yearlings over there. In one year, the most yearlings I ever had, about the last year I was in business with doing that, is I had uh, 5,000 yearlings. And I, uh, that gave me, I had accumulated, well, I sold my mother cows at Oaks Creek when they became valuable enough to, I had bought half of the ranch. And uh, when they became valuable enough to pay for it, I just sold those cows and paid for my ranch. And then Patty in, inherited a, a third of it, and then we made a trade with one of her brothers and got another third of it. And that gave us two-thirds of the ranch. And, 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 uh, I mean, of their part of the ranch. And I had half of it, I had bought. When the cows got to where they paid it out, I paid it out, and we didn't. I never really was going to borrow any more money. I didn't have to. And uh, I kept operating, and time caught up with me, and I retired, I think, when I was going to retire <laughs> when I was about 80. And uh, <coughs> I'd quit breaking horses and so on and other things, but I still had horses and would halt to break the coats and things. I moved down here and I had bought an alfalfa farm west of Clarendon that I had paid for. And uh, it was not very big, and but it was a good farm with good water. And I moved down here, and the cook boy wanted to sell me his place, and I told him I was retired. I didn't. And so he said, "Well," said, "Let me lease it to you." And you run it, and uh, 
I said, BH, I'll have to put your names on it, and I've got to build a bunch of fence. And he said, well, when your lease is up, if you buy it, it'll be your fence. And if I sell it to somebody else, I will pay you for the fence. And that was our agreement. And that's what we did. And uh, so I had uh, made an agreement with uh, Mr. Cook when I leased it that uh, I had the right of first refusal if the ranch, if the sold. Well, we went along there and I was paying him a pretty good lease and uh, I was making a little money and I had it all or where I could operate it, I built about, I forgot how much fence, about, I think about four, maybe five miles of fence, I'm not sure. And uh, we, uh, 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 the place that joined us sold to a fellow and he moved in here. And we have never been too good a neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, he uh, eased over and tried to buy my lease about a month ago. And uh, B.H. got his deal, and then all I had to do was match it. And I thought I was paying a little much for it, but it made me mad, and I just bought it. And I owed some money. <laughs> and I, uh, I went ahead with it, and I planted it in blue stem grass, and it was good farmland and has uh, probably the best irrigation well in this country, and it pumped about 1,700 gallons a minute. We're on two half mile sprinkler for the water of uh, uh, two section to land aside from the waste of the corn. And uh, anyway, I, I did that and then the fellow came down here and I sold him uh, 600 acres of that river to hunt. 